Hey you guys, so this video is a bunch of foodie beauty updates all in one video, everything basically that's happened from today. So for the first five minutes, go ahead and pause and read. And I will see you in the next clip. I will not, don't let her go out from Kuwait. You got not going to let her go out from Kuwait? Are you pressing charges? Are you pressing charges then against her with the police? Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow, I go live. But I will go live and I will tell her if she go live again until day 29, she don't go out from Kuwait. She won't be able to leave then. So if you if you go to the police, she won't be able to leave Kuwait. I called someone. He come for me. No, I someone is coming for me. He work in the government. He's my customer already. I talked to him already, and he said, "What you want, we will do." I said, "I want to go out from Kuwait." He said, "If you open this case, you will stay more." You want she stay or she go? 
Now, when I go live, I tell her, if I open my life again, I will go live and I tell her, if she make life again, she don't go out from Kuwait. What would happen? She wants to stay silent until she back to Canada. Want to say back? So, if you if you talk to your government friend, would she go to jail? He said she don't go out from Kuwait. She will stay more and more. You want she stay here? I said just wait. And you don't want her to. I going live after tomorrow when they return my account for me. I will make the live for her direct. If she going live again, I will open the case. Totally hundred percent. Just wait to finish with Google and get and live again, and I will tell you everything. But just now, I go out with you because some people they said this not Allah. This okay, my account. I will make another one to check something. Even I keep it backup only. Well, I uh, thank you for calling in because, like you said, people were doubting that. Um, yeah, I think it's this him, Tara. Now, they hear me all with you in the live or no? Yes, they can hear you. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what everybody was saying on Twitter. I know not everybody has the Twitter app, so it was a way where we can see what's going on and get everybody's thoughts and opinions. Um, so Dee Dee made a whole community post to Foodie Beauty, and it's a long one. It's from four hours ago. It reads, Foodie Beauty, you are a fake and vile human being. It's time that everyone hears the real truth and it's your turn to sit there with your robotic partner in silence and our turn to speak up. Get it? Got it? Good. First off, for months he was telling everyone online you are not in a relationship. But you refused to accept this because behind the scenes, you were convinced you were more than that. You even went as far as buying your own engagement ring and telling everyone that he just needs to fake love me. I mean, come on. I back Nader up 200% for milking you for all that you were eager to provide for him. Why? What kind of human being slanders someone's reputation on YouTube for months because they are not getting their way when this person had no idea? Who in the heck do you think you are, Chantal Salat? Then decides to press five charges against him when you find out that I am in Gatineau with Nader and he was going to court that morning to discuss, discuss getting an order against you. You were jealous, Chantal. Plain and simple, you are still jealous. Might I remind you, you in inserted yourself in Nader's chat last month, oozing with jealousy and obsessive vibes. We all saw your comments, Madame Salot. Why is she calling her that? As far as your empty threats about going to the police when back in Montreal, um, ma'am, did you not just record two songs about Nader and post them on YouTube? And you think the police is going to react about a pic of you with your tongue sticking out? Is it just me or do we have more reason to continue sending our receipts you so easily provide to us in regards to your already existing open file with Lachine police? Hmm. Madame Salot, you were begging and pleading to see Nader for most of 2022. We gave all the receipts. Our phones were literally blowing up. Admit it, Chantel, you will never, ever be able to come close to accept the fact that he chose me. 
This is why you continue to insult us. You want revenge, Chantal? Because of this, you continue to defame him and I online. You are sick and vindictive, Madame Salat. I did insert myself, thank God, to save him from you. Phew. And I do love it the most. Want to know which part, Chantal? Remember those stars you used to see, Chantal? Well, they light up my sky every single night. Hashtag stay mad, Chantal. Hashtag woman scorned. Hashtag jealous of Dee Dee Lulu. Wow, you guys, what do you think? Okay, so this has 168 likes. Let's read some of the comments. Amara said, preach, Dee Dee. Spitting out facts. It's about time that she gets called out on everything. For years, she's been left to run wild with no consequences. Lying, scamming, manipulating, mocking, abusing, bullying, silencing, and just being a complete monster. Karma has crept up on her and it's a chef's kiss. She needs to eat it all up. I hope it tastes as sweet to her as it will be to watch for us. Oh, Glitter Bomb said, damn sis, you literally murdered her at the end. But keep it up. Make it rain. No storm receipts. Make her rage trying to lie and defend herself. She's already got two strikes. Finish her. Carnivore Check said, Well, I selfishly just want to see you treat her dome like a speed bag. I appreciate you taking this approach. I don't think she's ever tangled with someone like you, and it intimidates the F out of her. Joey said she's a manipulator and a liar. She'll never change. Savage Keyboard said, damn, Dee Dee, you dropped the mic. Dog Mom said, nailed it, Dee Dee. Uh, Janina said, I agree with you. It's nothing but revenge for not getting what she wanted. Your man. You are way better for him and you two just belong together. Honey Thorn said, I live for this crap. Drag her butt for filth, Dee Dee. Rini put a bunch of clapping emojis. Eat it up like you do everything else, Chantal. Just got married and responding to reaction channels while endlessly gorging yourself on food. Yes, we are convinced how happy you are, LMAO. Oh, Sissy said, let's not forget she also offered Nader $2,500 per month to fake love her. Let's see, Mixed Wild Child said, damn, Dee Dee, you didn't need to go that hard. In all honesty, Chantel needs a reality check and I think you just served it. Christy said, I'm here for it. Crooked Halo said, oh, hell yeah, go, DD, go. Gucci Gang Gamer said, this is epic. Bella said, yes, DD, love you guys. Chantel said, this is going to be so good. Quiet Storm said, bah, ha, 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 yes, go, LOL. It's about time you guys defend yourself. She banks her abuse on people rolling over and being her doormat. Kudos, gorgeous, woof, woof, Chantel. Brooklyn to Brixton said, OMG, not the stars, girl. Dev Kitty said she is most definitely jealous of you. Queenly said, bah ha ha, love this. Lynn Smith said, Dee Dee, when she was raging in the Kuwait raid, she gave your new work address. That was a hint for her trolls to call your new place. What? I didn't know that. See, there's so much I need to catch up on today. Okay, scrolling up so you guys can pause and read some of these at your own convenience. Now, I think we have like 855 new community posts from Chantal. And then we may watch some of the wedding vlog. Well, we are. I don't know why I said we may. We are. All right, you guys. Um, oh, Let's see what Angel Horn said. Tell it, sister. You and Nader have been quiet long enough. It's high time the truth is known. She is a jealous, lying, revenge-seeking, scorned, hateful sociopath that is a menace to society. People like her are dangerous and belong off the streets. I truly do pity Sala. Sala is going to figure her out soon enough and she'll attempt to ruin him as well. Keep smiling, dear, and stay above it. X-O-X-O. -X -O. Martina said, what the heck, Dee Dee, is that you? All right, you guys, let's go and see what Chantal had to say and let's read the community post. I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so let's read all of these community posts. The comments are off now. So the first one is from 15 hours ago from Foodie Beauty. It is edited. And it says, I don't know what stupid voicemail you all are talking about, as I don't watch abusers anymore like you all do. But any voicemail being revealed today would have been so old and irrelevant now. So yeah, nice try. Either way, I will be in Canada soon and hitting up that police department as promised to myself. Can't wait, y'all. 
So the voicemail, I've heard um, a few different voicemails on Twitter. One of them was her giving advice about, remember the April Fool's Day prank that him and Didi did? That wasn't funny at all. Um, she was giving him advice on how to handle it. And I think another voicemail, I don't think I heard it, but was insinuating that they were business partners and she was like working with him on how to make more money. All right, so the next one is from 14 hours ago. It's also edited. Okay, now Turd is a moron. That voicemail was trying to protect him when he was breaking the law and seeing me, etc. He is such an idiot. Keep digging your own grave, LMAO. What's wrong? No one will watch you causing a fire in Doo's kitchen. Okay, foodie, you just gave yourself up right there. Like, that's how we know you're watching. These messages are from when a peace order was against him a long time ago. Keep reaching for content. Inshallah, you can prison bees soon. And then there's this. Oh, geez. This is from 14 hours ago, also edited. Prison bees for revenge P. That one pic you posted was never public. Love that for you. Two weeks. And who are you calling buffalo? Better to be a buffalo than a starving swordfish. That's interesting. Okay. Let's see. This one, she's sharing a video. He's not a liar, though. Clown emoji. Woman beater. Okay, this one from 13 hours ago. A simple Google search will show that most women in domestic abuse situations, I don't give a F if you simp for it and don't believe me it happened, drop charges or lie for their abusers. If you want to laugh at me now for things that happened in February until April, go ahead. That's on you. Foodie, do you realize you always talk about people bringing up your past and how it was so long ago. You constantly bring up people's past. And I know it happened from February until April. I don't think anybody's making fun of you for what you've been through. I don't think anybody's making fun of you at all. I think people brought to your attention that you kept calling him and harassing him. And I don't like Nader. I don't even cover his stuff. Like, I don't cover his channel or anything because I don't even want to hear his voice. But he did show a million voicemails from you, texts. You calling, giving advice on how we should handle things on YouTube. It just, it just is weird. Up until you left for Kuwait, you were making collages for Nader. Since you've been in Kuwait, you wrote two songs for him. It just looks a certain way. I'm just going to say it. I'm not saying that what happened to you didn't happen. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to say you're saying one thing but then doing something completely different and getting mad that people are calling you out on it. This loser is still abusing me online and all people can do is support it. Just to try and spite me. Won't work, by the way. The email below shows the reason I dropped the charges or wanted to. Because this woman abuser fed me sweet lines and it was too late. I already had feelings. Biggest regret of my life. I even say in the email to the detective that he did those things, but I didn't want him in trouble. I still wanted to help him. Foolish me. Oh, well. My karma is Sala, and your swordfish will be prison, inshallah. Um, I believe you would still be helping him if he didn't cut off all contact from you. I'm just saying that. Again, I'm not sticking up for that guy. I can't stand the guy, to be honest. But I believe she would still be contacting him and everything else. Um. Yeah, your karma is Sala. You could tell he's just not that into you. So you got your karma. All right, and this is the email. She showed us this before, but it says, Censored, upon further thought, I would like to retract my statement. I mean, those things did happen, but I found the possibility of a legal battle. Oh, I find the possibility of a legal battle. Very overwhelming, especially since I don't think my mental health can handle this. I also have no proof. My word against his, and again, my mental health dealing with him in a battle cannot handle this. There is also the fact, and then she blocked that out with a barfing emoji. Much to admit this, and I'm still in love with him, even though he did all of those horrible things I'm accusing him of. I care about him and don't want to press charges on him. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go to the next community post. This is from 10 hours ago. New video. It's also edited. New video. Okay. So here's a better explanation for the zombie cult. 
our marriage took a while to finalize as most legal matters do. We do not owe you anything. We do not owe people anything more than what we want to share. I'm not that stupid. I know this is a newer Abaya. We filed for marriage and had a contract for a while now, but we had to finalize things. I wasn't even going to show any video. You can see why as people pick apart everything, just be happy for people who are happy the legal details don't matter to people who are not living our life and don't know anything about it. We are protecting ourselves with privacy, which is why all of this is vague and confusing. No, it's all vague and confusing because I think you guys just barely got married, if you want to know the truth, or had a whatever it is. And I don't even know that you guys are really legally married. Do you know that people on Twitter are like the best det detectives? Like, <laughs> if you guys saw the clips before, like, I'm not buying that they're really married. And I think that if they did, it happened recently. Um, let's see. We are protecting ourselves with privacy, which is why all of this is vague and confusing. It's not a linear process like most marriages when both people are from the same country. I turned off the comments for now because I'm seriously getting sick of YouTube altogether and the constant needing to defend everything I do against the horde of mindless zombies and miserable people. Funny how people like FFG don't even have a man and you lied to your audience about that and can sit on their flat behinds and chain smoke and screech and speculate on the status of our marriage as if they know anything when they don't. Okay, not everybody needs to have a man in their life like you, foodie. If FFG doesn't have a man, it's probably because she doesn't want one. Not everybody has to be in a relationship. Some people just want to be single. Like, you need to be in a relationship. You need, you need it. Most of us, if it happens, it happens, but... We don't have to have a man by our side. Okay, let's see. Flat behinds and chain smoke and screech and speculate on the status of our marriage as if they know anything when they don't. No one does. We have been to the courthouse many times and I decided to take some snaps of the most recent. We had to go a few times for different reasons and different sessions, like to bring witnesses, etc. As we had to do things a bit differently because of my status. My question is, Foodie, why did he wear a suit to the movies, but he's just like that to get married? I'm just wondering. All right, let's go to the next community post. Wow, she was on a roll. So this is from nine hours ago. Of course the vulture just saying is live and already stealing our content because she's another smoky voice loser, FFG butt kisser who has no personality and hides behind a stupid animated cat and can't get any views on her own. Pathetic get a damn life or better yet instead of picking apart with your pathetic audience whether our marriage is real or not get off your ass and go get married yourself or go on the sky wheel with ffg and get no views i'm taking a long break from youtube i'm tired of youtube allowing shit stained content thieves and bullies on their platform bye all right you guys in the comments let's take some guesses on how soon we think foodie will be back Cause she'll be back soon. We know she'll be back soon. All right, let's go ahead and watch the vlog together. I'll see you there. I want to thank Kristen at Steph K said on Twitter for clipping Foodie Beauty's wedding video. So let's go ahead and watch this together, you guys. It says courthouse marriage bees. separate elevators. I love this, she said. Look at the indent on her finger. It's cutting off circulation so bad. Oh my gosh. Hi baby. We are today in the court and uh, we are waiting. Okay, so it says on here the actual courtroom. I just want to ask again. He wore a suit to go see Megan in the movie theater. But this is how we're, we're dressed for an actual wedding.
مبروك مبروك صلاح عند شانتال مبروك ان شاء الله مبروك شكرا so it says congratulations مبروك 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 hello guys we just finished from the marriage contract and we are going home to celebrate يلا wedding party <laughs> hi guys so i look at the way he's looking at her like are you effing kidding me right now she's looking at him like Come on, you gotta pretend to fake love me just for this photo. Come on. Just decided to put together a few snaps of our courthouse wedding bees. I know it doesn't look like much to some, but for us, it meant everything. It was very special because I was, well, for me at least, I was marrying my soulmate. And I know Sally. Soulmate. Again with that word. I can go the rest of my life without hearing that word. And whose voice is she borrowing for this? Feels the same way. And mashallah, mashallah, I am so happy. And I just want to share a little bit with you guys. We went to a courthouse. It was not a religious wedding. It was just done at the court. We're more focused on the legal side of things, just being legally married. And we'll have a wedding at some point. So they haven't been legally married then? Because I believe this was recent. I believe this was recent. Uh, maybe in the future, inshallah. So for now, this is all we decided we're comfortable with showing you. Um, people will just have to keep speculating and accusing us of being fake married. That's fine with us. We have decided that we will not be showing any kind of personal marriage contract. Number I don't believe there's any personal marriage contract. I, I still, I don't know what to believe. I don't think if this, if they are married, I don't think they've done it till recently. And, you know, I don't know if you guys, um, paid attention but in the beginning when they're show when I was showing the clips from Twitter and what people were saying somebody actually zoomed in and showed that their what their marriage certificate was blank one that's not anyone's business and number two we just don't feel comfortable with that kind of personal information being circulated online so that will be our personal what are you hiding what are you two hiding um information and also i will not be sharing personal information like my status here in kuwait and things like that but what we will do is just share a few snaps like i said of our day so i will explain a bit of the process from okay. my perspective um basically we had to go to this courthouse and there were a lot of stairs to go up to get in and the place was very busy and had many, many floors. Mm -hmm. The elevator area was chaotic. People were waiting a long time to get in an elevator and they were jam-packed. This is one instance where I appreciate the gender segregation and the women had their own elevators and like a lift attendant. So that was awesome, which you'll see in the video as well, in the video snaps. Mm -hmm. And so... Then we went up to the floor where we had to wait to get to a courtroom. Uh, we did just, um, it, it was a bit of a process. You have to file. The more I look at this picture, the more I'm convinced. Look at how scared he looks. <laughs> He's just not into it. For marriage and all this and that. Um, and so I know there's going to be some details left out. But again, these are just personal things and we appreciate our privacy being respected yeah so <laughs> um a lot of people just feel entitled to certain information and it's just no we we have a right to privacy so also um but there are some things i don't mind sharing with you guys so also we we got into the court mm -hmm. courtroom and we stood in front of two judges and they basically asked me um they wanted to make sure that I accepted the marriage with Salah and that he did pay me the, I think they call it maher, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's something that um, Muslims in most Islamic countries do. So it says across the screen, we also had two witnesses. The husband has to pay legally, um, give a gift, mon monetary gift to the wife and one during the marriage as well so that's um i did 
um, that's personal as well, but we agreed to, but it's, uh, every marriage that happens here. So, uh, also they asked me where my father was, mm -hmm. which really was an odd question to me because it just really, but it, you know, it made me realize how important father figures are in the lives of women here. Um, so as parental figures, family, the family structure is very, very sacred here. So, um, you don't have many single parents if, I don't know, if any, unless, you know, even if women are widowed or whatever, or divorced, they usually seek another husband and vice versa. So, um, usually the father is present to give the blessing for the marriage. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I had to explain that I don't talk to my father and they just kind of looked at me sadly. <laughs> so it said if father is deceased, um, brother or son can do this. I believe they said it happened so fast. Okay. Hold on. Let me do it again. Usually the father is present to give the blessing for the marriage. Uh, so I had to explain that I don't talk to my father and they just kind of he says it says if father is deceased then the uncle or son can do this okay have looked at me sadly <laughs> so um Sala had to explain for me he's so supportive in ways i can't even tell you guys and yeah so i i'm so happy and this if you have to keep trying to convince us you're so happy like if every chance you're saying i'm so happy i'm so happy it makes me think you're not really that happy was uh, an experience for sure um well, I don't know what else there is to say really I guess that's okay you've put my dog to sleep I don't know if you guys can hear her snoring but that's okay you could end this vlog anytime soon foodie just that we had to wait for a bit in the courtroom outside of the courtroom is what you see some of the snaps of and then inside the courtroom and I know there's a lot of confusion as to well, uh, the status and all this and um, the actual dates of marriage and the actual con There's confusion because you've been shady. That's why. <laughs> attractive marriage, but those are all things that most people don't show online whenever they get married. Uh, they usually just show the wedding ceremony. We didn't have one as of yet. Again, it was just very, um, very qu it was a very quick courthouse wedding for now. But uh, inshallah, in the future, we will organize some kind of party. So it was just low key and um, celebrated. We celebrated with friends after. Was it low key because we know Salah's family, his father doesn't approve of you? Friends and family afterwards in private. Uh huh. But I don't believe um, that. That's basically all we did for the time being. And we will. If we do have some kind of celebration in the future uh, that we can make public, we will. But there's a lot in my life now that I'm but keeping thought, private. And I thought you were being so private. Why would you share the celebration? You've been weird about sharing this. And marriage details, I think you can appreciate, especially with the amount of sleuths we have online. Um, very invasive. The internet can be very invasive. So we just really think it's in our best interest to keep a lot private. And, but we did want to share a little bit of the day with you. So it was a very nice day, very special to marry my soulmate. And I couldn't be happy. Again with that word, soulmate. Pierre. One day you too will hate that word, foodie beauty, one day. I couldn't have asked for a more supportive husband in every single way. And I feel very, very blessed. And I'm just going to try to take advantage of being positive and appreciate these blessings that God has given. He's given me a wonderful man to take care of me. And uh, as husband and wife, this is, of course, my f <laughs> my first marriage. And may it be the only one in my life, oh, inshallah. And thank you guys so much for watching this. And we will see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Bye-bye. Masalama. Bye-bye. Come back with your real voice next time. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's talk about this down in the comments section. What are we thinking? Something just still isn't adding up for me. Something is off. Something, someone's being shady and not telling the truth. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion. Anyways, you guys, I hope you liked this video. I just wanted to catch up on everything. I know today was very busy for Chantel.
<laughs> so I figured we'll just wait, see what happens and upload it all at once. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. I hope to see you um, during our late night stream tonight, this morning. It should be between 11 p.m. my time and 12 a.m. Anyways, you guys, I will see you so soon. Bye.